Hello to the gamers. I am uh, me. I'm being inundated by the sun. I'm not even sure. It's it's taken seven different car mirrors and like big glass windows to like reflect it into my office. Excuse me. Gross. But I do like it. I do like it, people. It's a reminder that spring has sprung. Well, I mean, it is February the 13th, but it's a reminder that spring is coiling, at the very least, and getting ready to spring. Although I suppose even when a spring is not springing, it is springing, because it's a spring. Something to think about. Now, I have not played much of this weekly. I played a couple rounds on my phone. Let me get a little bluebird. Let me get a little fish. And I, I'm not that pressed about Mermel, okay? But Bunyip, I am pressed about Bunyip. It's a 3-2 if we roll once per round, and we roll once, like, every round. Let me be like a sticky sailor. Or as you might call it, a sticky... <laughs> user was banned for this post. Video has been demonetized, etc., etc. You get the idea. You, you understand, I'm sure. Okay. Most exciting round one of a Super Auto Pets Weekly in history. How about this? This should have combined the fish and had two bluebirds pumping, but that's okay. Now, there are some new animals this week as well. Animals that I guess I they're weekly only or in the, they're in the this pack only or this weekly pack only? Because I never saw them in the unicorn pack before. We'll take, we'll take. We're not going to get a level this turn in all likelihood. But this is one I was talking about. Chupacabra on knockout, give one health to one random friend, trigger three times. I feel like that's actually pretty good. And then maybe like a pug to buff, uh, to create a level, which maybe could make the Chupacabra level up eventually, which means that it's giving more health. Admit it. Like Wreck-It Ralph, I just broke the internet. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burp again, I'm gonna mute. It's so satisfying. I'm sorry, if the idea of someone burping grosses you out i understand i do want to say with no hate in my heart you're not gonna make it through this cold winter okay the sound whenever someone's like sorry can you mute for the burp i get grossed out by the sound i'm like that makes perfect sense it is kind of a disgusting sound i'm gonna sell you and run like an ogo pogo instead if you get grossed out by the idea, it's it's going to be a long life. Okay, I understand you're like you don't have control over it. But we got to we got to figure something out, okay? Because people are going to be burping. It doesn't have to be catastrophic every single time. People are going to be eating into the microphone. I love that for me. Um How about how about, <laughs> I don't know why you said it like that. Um, mm, you should go to the front. One experience, huh? Okay. Um, how many times have we rolled? One, but we're going to roll two more. Pug me. I know what I said. So this Chupacabra is going to give out a bunch of HP. You steal food, right? Copy a useful food perk. Well, unfortunately for you, I never buy food. Unfortunately for me, your team is still better, so you got me, okay? Congratulations. I'll take my level. Now, I'm like... Well, there's a number of things we can do. I still... You can... No, you can't get 3 XP. You can get, you can get mighty close. I think we want this. We only rolled two times, but you're going to be pretty strong. Give you one, one, you give all the HP if possible. Give him six health, and then all of can get the, what's the unit that, when you give health to a unit, it gets some attack? That could go off, man. That could go off. We got, we got pseudo synergies. Hold. Not the dog, man. We're gonna draw. After all of that, we're going to draw. Maybe we shouldn't be running like six tier one units this late in the game, you think? Hmm. Okay. Relax. I'll handle it. Here's what I'm thinking. Fish is gone. 
we can't take them both. Husky is much better for scaling. But in battle, given the XP that we have available, maybe Red Dragon would go kind of crazy. And then maybe actually look at some foods for once. Maybe you could take this because you're probably going to stick around for a bit. I don't think we care about getting the bunny yip going any further. So Red Dragon should make like their backline crispy. Very crispy indeed. They got their own Red Dragon. There is also this unit, Tree. I don't know if you've heard of this mythical creature. If it has less than 6 HP, it gets Coconut Perk, and then that becomes 12... Uh, sorry, attack. If it has less than 6 attack, it gets a coconut. That goes up to 12 at level 2. I don't know what it is at level 3, but... Seems like a good unit. I mean, like, getting a, a coconut for free, especially given that it's like a tier 3 unit, is, is pretty, pretty good. Now, some scaling, my liege. Some scaling. It's not a tree. It just looks like a tree. I'm a mess. I've been burping. I got something stuck in my teeth I gotta go get. It's a disaster, man. Okay, it's the strongest rhinoceros in Earth's history. I gotta say, you were, you were kind of cooking something up on that. Why do I have Chupacabra at the back? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't think I want to level you. I think it's too late in the game. I think we got to go a little bit spicier. Sell you. I'm going to keep you around just for a minute. Like, just because just I can. Spend mana to get three gold next turn. I have none mana generation. You're generating mana, but I think it's a little too late in the game to put my hopes and dreams on you. There is scaling of, of, of a sort. There is scaling of some repute here. We could take a level. We should take a level. And we, have a, we do have a faint triggering Andy, but we don't have the money for it. <laughs> he's a mess, man. He doesn't know what he's, he's been playing too much roguelite poker. He doesn't, he, he forgot how to play Super Auto Pets. Okay. On, oh, on knockout, not on faints. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> oh, so when the Chupacabra knocks out a unit, not when it gets knocked out. Tanned Griesner. Buy. Give future Tanned Gnost plus two attack and plus two health. What does it mean, Basil? What does it mean? Tanned Griesner, give future Tanned Gnost. Um, this is confusing enough for me, man. <laughs> Listen, I don't think you're knocking anybody out. I'll level with you. I have absolutely no idea um, what this is going to do. I guess it makes future versions of itself better, even though the name is different. It's an interesting idea for a unit. Hmm, it's an interesting idea for a unit, I said. Pug? Pug? No? Well, maybe, you know what? We might as well. I think we kind of cooked ourselves on this one. And I have no actionable feedback. I have no idea if we have, uh... If we were on a decent run and then it all fell apart, or we were cooked from the get-go and... Who knows, man? What I do know is that somehow we stayed in for one more round here, and we've still got two lives, so there's, there's a faint glimmer of hope, more than one would have expected, mayhaps. Now, this is interesting. I don't really love a mammoth. Uh, I don't think it's going to save our lives. You, we didn't really need to buy that last pug, huh? <laughs> this is what a disaster, man. A warthog for now, and then I'm like... You're a level... Maybe I could turn you into a level 6. Mana's pretty nice. Honestly, just to, Even with no mana synergies, it does do 6 damage to a unit when you die. Or when that unit faints, I should say. Okay. Triple crispy. Just the way I like it. We're in a lot of trouble, guys. <laughs> also, I don't know what's going on with the tag nose and the tag nosers and stuff like that. It's a... It's, it's all Dr. Susian to me. So possibly a level 3 tiger. 
I'd be surprised to see it really keep us in the game. But, I mean, when you're surprised, the thing that you should take from that is that life is surprising, man. So I could turn you into a level three, too. But you're... Eh, it doesn't... We'd rather have you be like a level one plus a level three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably going to die in one hit anyway, though. Oh, but it's unfaint. Dude literally has no idea how to play super auto pets. I didn't play for like a week because I was playing Balatro. And uh, I, I forgot everything that I knew. And it took me three years to gain that knowledge. It's like coming back after summer vacation. It's like, I, I swear I was in school at some point. I swear it to you. Okay, but this time, no more jokes, okay? Maybe like an elderly other. Like the Nicole Kidman movie, uh, The Others, which is kind of elderly, because I think it came out in 2001, if I had to guess. I love it. So when, you, when we have a friend level up, the Mermels will get even stronger. Which is good, because right now they suck. So I think next round, we pop them. We get a level two mermel, we get a level two fish, and we buy two things. We could have done it on this round, but I didn't want to go four squatted. But now that I think about it, it might have been the right play. That might have given us a second win. But we've got all this latent potential energy, speaking of springs, that we can bring to the table here. A tree! I think tree is good. Pegasus, friends summon, give three friends plus one attack until end of battle. It's like a temporary... Oh, but it's like a horse. But it stacks up the buffs, not necessarily on the thing that was summoned. Interesting, but we're going tree. I didn't read all that, but sorry that happened to you, or congratulations, or whatever. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Camel going in front of the tree. Mermel. That way, the tree will get a coconut, and then anything that comes in from the camel stats-wise is a bonus. Ill-gotten gains. Now, this is looking like a much more strategic team at the moment. Sure, just for now. Beautiful. This will help out my mermel. I can't afford it. <laughs> Why are you rolling, then? At least leave the fish on unfrozen, man. No, no, no. We're looking okay. We're looking okay. 510 Camel Andy. Things you love to see. Is going very well thus far. Things can change pretty quick. They can change on a dime. How about, honestly, you get out of here. You start stacking up some extra health on everybody. You start stacking up some extra health on everybody. And we get a little extra money for next turn. Camel having more health gives the tree more attack. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Sorry, my tree is better. You have a... a trying to think of a tree that won't be that insulted. <laughs> Not a tree guy. I'm familiar with some varieties. The maple, for example. It's a big one up here. Sycamore. Why not? No, 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 wait, wait one round. Wait one round and take, uh, take a coconut for the moment. I can tell you this Mermel's ready to pop off, bro. I put my faith in the Mermel and I'm, I'm being vindicated. This is a huge play. Still huge. That's a big pig. That's an awfully big porcine pig. Level me. Cow me? Cow me? Yes, I will cow you. Look at this. This is like the perfect setup right now. There's a little mix of the old and a little mix of the new. You gotta love that. Now, you can't commit to keeping the Mermel forever. But I do see, I see the potentiality for badges in my future. And it's got me, it's got me thinking, it's got me, I'm, I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. And the reason they tell you not to do it is because it's so much fun. You can get seduced by the counting. We got a lot of work to do still. This seems amazing for our Mermel. Blessed are the Mermels for they get the better even of their blunders. 
I know what you're thinking. Great time to pivot to a rhino. You know what I'm thinking? No, no, no. Dance with the one that brought you. That's a big kangaroo. But wait a, wait a second. I got my own little big laddie back here as well. The tree is kind of going nutty mode. Mouse should start playing this again. It's got all his favorite uh, garden accoutrement. Okay, you are essentially useless. I don't need you to level. More health on this lad. I would have liked to have bought some mana as well. I should have done that first, obviously. Anything? I would roll. I like it. I, I do. I do like it. And why don't you take some magic beans? Then you'll get a golden egg next turn. I don't know if you're familiar with the Jack and the Beanstalk myth. <clears throat> At least one person out there went, Myth? No way! <laughs> you're telling me there's no giant in the sky that's gonna grind my bones to make his bread? Okay, no one's more surprised than me, by the way. We're on eight wins. We're buffing our Mermel yet again. I'm not really messing around with this guy right here. <laughs> I don't know what he does. We're not messing around with a Wolverine either or a Pteranodon. We have none faint triggers. You could always buy a... No, a Husky's kind of horrible here, huh? I think it's actually bad to have a donkey. Because I that will push what tend to be scalar units to the front, burning the coconut on our tree. We'd rather use it for their highest value unit. If possible, at least. Now that is a freaking huge chupacabra that is gonna knock me out and then give a billion health to all of its friends. I don't appreciate that, just so we're clear. And I want you to know I don't appreciate it. Get treed on. They got treed on. It's tempting to like throw out like a Cerberus here. Just something that... Interesting. Very interesting. Just something that will, will spawn some units and maybe get us over the hump. So we're, we're oh, if, I, if only I'd pushed you to the front first. What happened to that? Did I not give someone an eggplant? Did I, did, did I make a grievous error? A red chili pepper in Mama Liz's Reaper oil? What, what happened, man? Did it get, re oh, it probably got replaced by the coconut. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. Well, I don't even want to use this yet. I feel like the sea lion's doing great work. I am to peach of immortality holds up spork. I mean, I could always get a sea lion to a tier five and just see, that's horrendous. <laughs> it's putrid, man. I got, I got food on everybody. Hold, hold, hold. This is the greatest holdable in Earth's history. You've overridden my coconut and broken my heart. You have. Yet, yet, we got there. And that's a mermel badge. That's a badge some people might have thought impossible. Get mermeled on. Get mermeled, get treed. Have your chupacabra rebuked. In Mama Liz's chili oil. I'll tell you what, bro. I mean, round one's not looking so hot already. But I was hoping Mermel would get a little support there. Let me be a, a, a sticky sibling. <laughs> I'm an only child. <laughs> oh, man. You're like, we know. Oh, have I talked about it? No, we just picked up on the vibes. You think about everything, don't you? Now, I'll be the first to tell you the order here is a little strange, but it's all, it's all to prime this Mermel to go to the moon. It's all falling apart. <laughs> it's a disaster. Mermel me? Okay, I actually think Frost Wolf is pretty good. It can weaken a unit, which then allows it to be killed by a weak unit of ours. Here's what I, I, we gotta do it, man. Chupacabra 
that hopefully gets buffed by a bluebird could go absolutely dummy mode. Now, forget about camel. I, I, it, I swear it to you, I'm not taking the camel because I think it's too good. I'm deliberately... Okay, well, at some point, maybe we could not get silenced immediately by the freaking baby Groot. It's a heck of a play. I'm not sure if it would have made a difference, but... I, I think we got the right kind of setup here. What's my reasoning? It's quite simple. I'm glad you've asked. Sorry, Mermel. Um, make the first enemy cold almost guarantees Chupacabra gets a kill. Am I wrong? Like, it, it's going to be doing 10 damage effectively. And then at least we get one trigger on the Chupacabra payout, which might be enough to kind of bend things in the direction we want them to go in. It's a pseudo synergy. You know how much I love those. I love it. I think... I do love the idea of getting some mana. I do. I do. But, but I, maybe you'd be better off just focus on making your, your chupacabra as big as possible. Like getting a sea lion to give it some health would also be awesome. And it could be a volume play. Like it could get the maximum amount of possible uh, kills just by staying alive. Instead of just doing a lot of damage. Does it really only work once per turn? Nope, I think it... Maybe I didn't knock out a second unit. Could be. I don't want more birds. Bird is a scrub who can't get no love from me. No, thank you. Nothing, huh? Well, next turn. <laughs> next turn is gonna pop. I think this will pop too. Two enemies cold. I still think we're gonna get a trigger off of the... Off of the Chupacabra. Level 1 Chupacabra? Embarrassing. Ooh. Oh. It doesn't count? No, it doesn't. I'm clearly not paying attention to the right thing. Go ahead. Don't need silence. I will say go ahead for now. I mean, we got so much money this turn. I don't want you, Bluebird! I told you that. I told you I don't want you. I do like you. I'm keeping you around. I'm giving you some magic beans. I'm giving the whole squad magic beans. This round is going to suck. Next round, we can start popping. We're, we're, we're going back up to the beanstalk, except this time, we're taking some people with us. We're taking backup. I just want you to know, if I had been there, it wouldn't have gone down like that, Jack. You would have heard the, gi the giant making a few rhymes. You would have heard some discourse. And then I would have come back down the beanstalk and said, don't worry, guys, that giant's not going to bother you anymore. Okay, now this is serious. <laughs> We're in trouble. We've accomplished almost nothing. This is nice. Transfer all mana to the nearest friend ahead. I don't need that. You know what I need? I am to Dog of Chaos, holds up Spork. Give me Pandora's box. I want to see random ailments. I, I recognize we'll be overriding our golden eggs. But think about the power we could have if our Chupacabra starts picking up like crazy kills because of a chili pepper or something. He got a chili pepper, bro! No! <laughs> yes! Hang on, I'm alive. I'm dead! <laughs> A chili pepper dipped in. You get the idea. Mama Lizzie's Reaper Royal. Well, we're cooked. Honestly, the worst part is that this run, like, actually doesn't seem that bad. I'm sorry to do this, but, like, as far as I'm concerned, it's got to be done. Oh, I forgot that this the Pteranodon works differently now. Not that we're going to live to see it happen. We've silenced all enemy units. We've rendered them cold and created the most powerful Chupacabra ever created. We're still alive. There is, there is still hope yet to be gleaned. You resummon it behind this as a Juan Juan. We don't really want that now that I look at it. But I, it's interesting. It's an interesting idea. I don't want to overwrite my chocolate. 
I don't really want to apply it to any of these units either. <laughs> that's that's kind of sad. Okay, take some support. I would love to sell this bird. You know what? You got to sell the bird and temporarily run bad dog. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. I definitely feel like we're cooked, though. Like, I don't feel like we have great uh, optics for this one moving forward. Okay, I got crispy right off the bat. Green pepper. Green pepper. Not gonna, not gonna. That wasn't even close, man. <laughs> well, we had a 10-piece and then some very, very bad runs. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm having fun with this weekly so far. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for your support. See ya.